Welcome back to Draw Kids where everybody loves to draw. Today I'm going to start off with a shout out. This awesome picture right here was done by Henry. Henry, six years old from Southern California. Good job, Henry. Keep up the good work and thanks for joining us. Today, our lesson is going to be doing an awesome leprechaun. So grab your art supplies and let's draw. Okay, so here we go drawing our leprechaun. Leprechaun is going to pretty much take up the whole page. So what we're going to do is going to go a little bit up the page, about three quarters of the way. And about right here, we're going to do a little arc, like a rainbow. So a little bit higher than center, we're going to do a little arc, just like a rainbow. Perfect. Now on each side, we're going to do an egg shape for his eye. One on that side. And one on that side. Perfect. Now next, we're going to do an egg shape inside of that, about halfway. There's one there. And next, we're going to do one a little bit smaller. And then inside of that, we're going to do a tiny baby circle and then color in the rest. Perfect. So the same on this side, a medium circle, smaller circle, and a teeny baby circle, and then color the rest. Perfect. Next, we're going to do an eyebrow. So an arc on each side. Nice. And then a line straight up. From there, this line is going to meet the end of that line, so it'll be almost like a bent triangle, like that. Same thing here, straight up, curve that line down to there. Awesome. So on each side of his head, we're going to do a little smile line, like that. Perfect. And then we're just going to close that off with a smile, like a curve. Nice. So from here, these two uh, mouth lines are going to go inwards a little bit, one on each side. And then the bottom of the mouth is going to curve upwards. Uh, right in the middle of here for the teeth, let's do a line straight across. Good. Next, we're going to do a sideburns. So for the sideburns, start from the back of the eyebrow and just go straight down. We'll do two lines. Same thing on this side, from the back of the eyebrow. One, two. Good. Now on this outside line, we're going to curve around his face and we're going to end right here on his chin. So curve this around and end right there on the chin. So same line on the side. Start on the outside line, curve around, and meet at his chin. Good. So next, we're going to take this inside line and go around his face. And when you get down here to his lip, we're going to go up, right in the middle. So just like this line on the opposite side, go around his mouth, down, and then up in the middle. Good. So for this middle part, let's just do like a little jiggity-jaggity. Good. So that's his beard. Awesome. So on each side of his head, we're going to do his ears. So go ahead and curve those outwards and then curve them back in. They almost look like Spock ears. So same on this side. Straight out and curve it down. Perfect. So now his hat line, it's going to go right behind his eyebrows. So start from this side doing a curve. Let's go behind the eyebrows. Good. So next we're going to do another curve from about here to here, almost to the top of his ears. So curve it, like that. Awesome. So on these sides, we're just going to close them off almost like a little C, like a C shape. One that way, and then one that way. Good. So from here, about the width of his head, we're going to do two straight lines up. They can curve out just a little bit. So up and curve out just a little bit. Same on this side. Up and curve out just a little bit. And for the top of his hat, we're going to do a curve. Perfect. So right here in the middle of his hat, we're going to do a square. But the square is going to be behind this rim. So we're just going to do an up, down, and square it out. Good. So make a thickness to this. Just kind of put another line on the inside, like a smaller square. Nice. Now for the hat band, we're just going to draw a line on each side just so that it kind of follows the same curve as the top. One on this side as well. Perfect. Next, for his body, what we're going to do is we're going to do like an egg shape all the way like this. When we get here, we're going to kind of leave a space and follow the line right through there. So from about here on his neck, we're going to start our egg shape. Right about here, we're going to lift up the pen, but we're still following that same line. This should be like kind of the bottom of his belly. And then keep following that line all the way around. 
So it's just an egg shape with two little gaps there. Awesome. So from here, right here in the middle, we're almost going to do like a T and take this line straight down to the bottom of the page. Good. Now from here, we're going to take this line and we're going to kind of make his little shorts. Just kind of go straight down and curve it out and then curve that out like that. So same on this side, curve it down like a pair of shorts and then in. Nice. So now we're going to do his, his lower leg. So we're going to take this line down, close it off, and now we're going to do his foot. So let's take that down, we're going to do his heel, and then do his foot all the way out. Good. So curve this one up and over, and then take that to his foot. Nice. So this exact same shape on this side, do his heel. Actually, let's do his leg. So do his leg, close it off, do his heel, and then now the foot. Go up and over, and then close off that foot. Perfect. All right, so right here in the middle of his body, right about where his beard is, we're just going to take that line straight down. Good, and now we're going to do an upside down V. That's going to be where his vest is. Upside down V and go ahead and curve that out to the sides of his body. Perfect. So next we're going to do another curve here that's going to be his lapel. So let's curve that in like that, one on each side. Curve, curve. Good job. Now for his outside of his lapel, we're just going to do an M, but it's going to be kind of sideways. So M, perfect. Same thing on this side, an M. Perfect. All right, next we're going to do his cuffs. So for his cuffs, let's go about right here and do a curve out and then curve again, kind of match this side. Good. So that's his cuff. Next we're going to do his hand. So his hand, we're going to do just a curve line in, leave a little space there, and this is almost like his fingers bending around. Good. So let's go to his shoulder. And we're going to go straight out. And we're going to come about to where his elbow would be. And then let's close that off. Good, like his hands are on his hips. Perfect. So this upper part of his, of his forearm, let's do a curve line in. Maybe a little wrinkle like that. And then this goes to his body. Good. So same thing on this side. Let's do a, a cuff. So two lines out. Curve them, make a little cuff link or a cuff. Then his hand, curve it out. This is just a hand, a finger. Good, so his hands are on his hips. Let's do a shoulder out to the elbow and then elbow to the wrist. Perfect. And let's attach that. Okay, one more thing. We're going to do the bottom of his, of his jacket. So he's got like a, a jacket with tails. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little curve out, like a little swoop. One there. And now we're going to add the little thickness here. So go that and touch that line. Perfect. Same thing on this side. From about the bottom of the hand, do a little curvy out. And just like here, curvy out. Perfect. One more thing. We're going to add a little shamrock here. So add a little, a little flick like that. And then if you can draw a heart, draw three hearts. Let's see. One upside down heart. One heart pointing that way. And one heart pointing that way. Perfect. That's it. Let's color. Thanks for hanging out with us today drawing the leprechaun. Please subscribe so you can come back and draw more with us. And don't forget, have a happy St. Patrick's Day! See ya!